I'm here with Marge Fenelon, who's familiar to Catholic TV viewers from appearances on other shows. And I wanted, we're going to talk to her about her book on a Marian pilgrimage. Thanks so much for being with us. Oh, it's a delight. Thanks for inviting me, Bonnie. So, you know, when we talk about Lent and going into spring, we talk a lot about the Stations of the Cross, Jesus' earthly pilgrimage and the Stations of the Cross. But your new book is about a Marian pilgrimage that you've been working really hard on. So tell us about the journey and the book. The journey and the book, one and the same and uh, a trial for both. <laughs> so the, the, the journey was to, I made nine different trips across the, so coast to coast, across the United States, New York, all the way to California. And at each stop, I visited a Marian pilgrimage place. So sometimes it was a shrine, sometimes it was, you know, something else devoted to Mary. But the, the idea was to, to create this, this novena of trips to the Marian pilgrimage sites. And so as I went, I prayed, it was kind of like a, a mini Lent because I went and I, you know, I joke, I had no fun. But what I mean by that, <laughs> no fun at all. But, but what I meant by that was that I purposely made it a pilgrimage. So I purposely, you know, everybody was like, oh, you know, you're in this town. You got to go see this. And that. No, 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 no. I was very pointed in, in being prayerful and approaching this as like the Stations of the Cross, one and then the next and the next. And I, I gathered this information and inspiration from the prayer and the visits and formed it into a book. A book, and the book's title is My Queen, My Mother, A Living Novena. So it's, it's the same pattern as my book, Our Lady Undoer of Knots, A Living Novena. Thank you. Whereas each day of the novena, we, we go, we travel to a different place. And, and here, they're all in America. And that was the idea of mine was, you know, people go all over the world to visit Marian pilgrimage places. And I wanted to draw attention to the fact that we have amazing places dedicated to our Blessed Mother right here in our country. And so I wanted people to fall in love with her again and to go visit her, but then to fall in love with our country again. So just you, as you bring up these historical locations, so tell me what, give us a hint, a preview, if you will, of some of the uh, places for Mary that you visited with a U.S. connection. Awesome. They, well, all, but, sure. but more specifically, there's Our Lady of the Martyrs in Orysville, New York. This is the place where St. Isaac Yogues was murdered and his and the North American martyrs. So a very important place. I was in uh, to Our Lady of La Leche in St. Augustine, Florida. That was the place of the very first Catholic mass ever. On the, on, well, not on this continent, but in, in what is now the United States of America. There was, there is, the, our, um, it's Immaculate Conception, the, it, the parish, but then also the the shrine is Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, and that's in Atlanta, Georgia. This, this Catholic church, which is still standing, was built in the 1800s, but it's the only Catholic church that was not burned down during Sherman's March to the Sea. So it's, it's it, very, very intrinsically uh, tied to our American Civil War. Then, oh, I could go on and on. There in, there's Our Lady of Sorrows, in Starkenburg, Missouri, these are German immigrants who came, and they, they needed a place to worship where they could have their own language, their own culture, and, and so they built this shrine, and there were miracles there. And, and what's interesting is that in many, if not all of the places I visited, there are miracles associated it, not necessarily approved by the church, but if, but anecdotally, people will say, "Oh yes, this person was cured, or this or that happened." So, so there were many cures. There are many, particularly Our Lady of Sorrows. There are many young men who came back from wars, the various wars at, that we fought in as as a, our country, and and they came back safely. And and so it's you know there's another aspect of our of our history. There was a newer shrine that I went to, and this is Our Lady of Peace, and that's in Santa Clara, California. Now, it wasn't so much U.S. history per se going way back, but, but this was, it intrigued me because it's a, it was a grassroots effort by a parish priest who had this vision. He wanted a very special place 
for our Blessed Mother. And so on his parish grounds, he, he, he contracted to have this enormous, it's, I believe it's 130 feet tall. This is a big Blessed, talk about Big Mama. This is a big Blessed Mother. It's beautiful, it's made of stainless steel. And it's there on the parish grounds, but the parish now has become a very popular shrine. But the interesting thing, Bonnie, is what happened was right after this all started, Silicon Valley came and, and grew up right around the shrine. So here you have this, this large, beautiful Blessed Mother standing there beckoning to her children in the middle of all of these big companies that we associate now with Silicon Valley. And I felt like that's really important because that it's a newer part of our history. Right. And this right. is kind of where we're going, you know, technology and development. And here stands the Blessed Mother saying, no, 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 I, my son is right here. And they do have 24-7 Eucharistic adoration there. Exactly. Wow. So you put, you logged a lot of miles, you logged a lot of prayer, and... Would you say that this is a great opportunity for someone to understand the prayer, the Marian prayer, prayer pilgrimage and the opportunity to journey through American history through the lens of faith? Absolutely, because that was, that's the idea, was it's not just they're journeying through American history, but they're also getting to know our Blessed Mother better each time, each each day of the novena, you're growing closer and closer to her and, and becoming, letting her become a part of your heart as well as a part of your country. Thanks so much for your time, you know, and we hope that Mary continues to, you know, cast her mantle over us here in the United States. Thanks so much for your time, Marge. Thanks.